Amen. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for all the women in the church. We pray for all the mothers in the whole world as we celebrate Mother's Day today. We thank you, the Lord. You bless them. You protect all mothers in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, we ask you to teach us your word in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can we read the Bible? Come to the Bible. Exodus chapter 20. Exodus 20. And verse 2. Verse 12. Verse 12. Exodus 20, verse 12. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Exodus 20, verse 12. Write it down right away. Take your pen. And you don't forget. Take it down. Anybody there? Okay, let me read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 12. Exodus 20, 12. Honor your father and your mother that your days may be long upon the land which the Lord your God is giving you. Amen. Even father and mother, op dat uw dagen verlengd worden in het land dat de Heer uw God u zal geven. There are times you have to honor your mom and dad. Er zijn tijden dat u de vader en moeder moet eren. Don't curse them. Vervloek ze niet. As I begin to speak, als ik begin te spreken, we all know that some moms can be very wicked. Dat dat weten we dus dat er mensen zijn, moeders zijn die kwaad kunnen zijn. And we can see some of them in the Bible. En we zien sommige van hun in de Bijbel. But the fact that your mom is wicked, mom, doesn't mean that you have to dishonor her. Maar het betekent nog niet dat als jouw moeder niet perfect is, je moet haar wel eren. You know what? When you do your part, wanneer jij je ding doet, when you do your part, God will take the rest. If your mom does not do the part of being a good mom, it is God who will take care of it. Als jij jouw ding doet, zal God, zal God voor de rest zorgen. God zal zorgen. God will hold everyone accountable according to His principle. Amen. God houdt iedereen uh, aansprakelijk. Voor. So when you come to God, dus als je naar God komt, you have to tell God that God, you said I should honor my mom, but I've, I've honored her, but she is still doing something strange. God, u heeft gezegd ik moet mijn moeder eren, ik heb haar geëerd, maar zij blijft. It is, it is, it is the responsibility of your mom to do her part, and it is your responsibility to do your part to the, honor her. Amen. It is the responsibility of your mother to do her thing, and it is your responsibility to do your thing to do to honor your mother. Amen. So here we read that. So here we read that right? you should honor your father and mother. You must your father and mother honor. So that your days, so that your dagen may be long, long shall be, long life, long life is connected to honoring your father. Is connect other, but ere for your ouders. If you don't honor, as you need it, you cannot have long life. Have you seen long life? That is why many people are dying on early age. That is why many people. Jeugdige leeftijd te hebben. Je moet je ouders eren. Amen. Eer ze. Wat ik je vertelde. Even al de pijn die ik went through. Al de pijn die ik went through. Zelfs door al de pijn. Ik sta op mijn ouders. Toch heb ik respect voor mijn moeder. Je hebt te doen. Dat moet je doen. Ik ben zo wat te leven lang. Wat is het? Ik ben zo wat te leven lang. I didn't read the Bible. I didn't. Read, I didn't write the Bible. I would have read it out. If I should read the, if I'm the one who wrote the Bible, maybe I'll write it differently. As I the Bible, zou hebben gezegd, had ik het misschien anders gedaan. Amen. Amen. We go to read again. Dan gaan we nog een stukje lezen. That's Deuteronomy chapter six. Deuteronomy six. From verse six to nine. From verse six to nine. Deuteronomy chapter six. Deuteronomium hoofdstuk 6. From verse 6 to 9. So can somebody read? From verse 6 to 9. Can you not read? God expects 
his people to use the word of God to train their children home. God verwacht dat zijn kinderen zijn woord lezen zodat ze to train them from home. Op ze te trainen. Can somebody read? If you cannot read. And these words, yes. which I command thee mm -hmm. this day, shall be in thine heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children, mm -hmm. and shalt talk of them when thou sittest in thine house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up, and thou shalt bind them for a sign upon thy hand, and they shall be as frontlets between thine eyes. And thou shalt write them upon the post of thy house and on thy gates. God is teaching us how to train our children. God leert ons hoe we met onze kinderen moeten omgaan. If you want to train your child, als jij je kind wilt trainen, you should not train your child as a good mother. According to how the society is training every child. No. Dan moet je niet zijn zoals het in de samenleving gaat. If you want to train your child just like because of the, the whole society, they are training their child this way. Nobody, nobody can talk or rebook their children. Yeah. Nobody can rebook any children. I never see children, people who are rebooking their own children. Yeah. Als, als je het wilt zoals je in de samenleving krijgt, You're dan moet je dus... <laughs> dan moet je dus uh, Rebook is naadspreken, aanspreken. Aanspreken. Ja, bestraffen, ja. Dan kun je in samenleving eens praten, praten. Everybody is afraid that the people can take your child away. From the social people will take your child away. Iedereen in Europe is bang hier dat je kind wordt afgenomen. But God told us how we should train. Maar God vertelt ons hoe we onze kinderen moeten First opleiden. and foremost, eerst we hebben we train them with the knowledge of the word of God. Dat eerst hebben we moeten ze opleiden met de kennis van That is where it all begins. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. En dat is waar het begint. In het begin was het woord van God en het woord was God. Nothing was made without the word of God. Niks was gemaakt zonder het woord van God. The word of God and succeed. Dus zonder het woord van God kun je niks doen. So God commanded His people. Dus God beval zijn mensen dat dat I command you today. Ik beval u vandaag. I command you. He said, and these words I command you today shall be on your heart. First and foremost, the words should be in your heart. Amen. Deze woorden moeten in uw hart zijn. When we preach the gospel, people say, why are we preaching the gospel? We talk too much, we go to Bible study, we go to church. So it's too much. Uh, als, je, als je het woord preekt, dan moet je iets aan de Bijbel. Nee, het moet in het hart zijn. You know, the difference between we and the early Christians is that the early Christians, they meet every day. Every day was the church. Every day. We the church. Church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old. Every day. Every day they come together. Elke dag kwamen ze samen. I don't know if they do it in the morning or in the evening. Ik weet niet of they come together every day. Ik weet niet. The book of Acts, you see. Lees maar handelingen. Ik weet niet of het woord of samen. So if they meet every day to listen to the word, to pray, maar elke dag kwamen ze bij elkaar het woord zien en om te bidden. And we meet two times a week, and you said it's too much. En wij moeten twee keer in de week. En u zegt het is te veel. En Last week somebody wrote me that we want to see the power of God in the churches today. And last week we want to see the kracht van God. Iemand vertel me. Iemand vertel me. We willen de kracht van God zien. This person long, he long, she long to see the power. Hij verlangde om de kracht van God te zien. One question I asked. Eén vraag die ik stelde. I said, look, Lars. If you come to church, as you enter the church, and the, the service is see two hours, you already complained. Yeah. And the dienst duurt twee uur, klaar mm -hmm. al. You are the same person telling that you want the power. Jij mm -hmm. bent dezelfde mm -hmm. die de kracht van God wilt zien. Two hours, twee, is too much. Twee uur is te veel. Yeah. You want it one hour. Je wilt het één uur. So you tell God, God, do do everything yeah. you want to do in one hour. I'm ready. I'm busy. I'm busy. Yeah. God, do it in one hour. Let me go. Dus je zegt tegen 
God, God, doe even in één uur, want ik ben te druk, ik, ik moet verder, maar doe je kunstje in één uur. Wat ga je voor te doen? Wat doe je? Televisie, computer. Mm. Televisie, computer. Yes. Walking on the street, yeah. biking. Beetje, beetje wandelen, beetje visually things. Wil ik wat doen? Ik ben dat wel. En stil! Ja. Ik wil de power of God. Hey. En toch wil je de kracht van God. Hij zei, go and study your Bible. It yeah. doesn't work like that. You cannot fool God, you know that. Zeg ook, ga je maar ga je bij me kijken. Je kunt God niet voor de gek houden. The olden days, the meet every day. De eerste mensen, elke dag. The Elke dag was er meet every day. Elke dag ontmoeten we elkaar. Even there was a time Paul had to preach till the whole night so the midnight. He the preached till midnight. The first verhaal that Paul was the whole night preaching. And people's heart was ready. And the heart for men was loud here all. Ze wilden meer horen. I asked the woman. I asked the person, the man or the woman. I said. Are you willing to pay the price to receive the power of God? Ik vroeg aan deze mens, ben je klaar om de kracht van God te ontvangen? If you are not willing to pay the price to receive the power of God, don't ask that God bring your power in the church because God always brings His power to a hundred people, to people who are ready, people who love for, people who put everything aside and they said they want to wait upon the Lord. It doesn't matter how long it takes. As long as I know I'm longing for God, God, my heart is open. God, bring your power. It doesn't matter. Put your watches aside. Put your program aside. Let God Himself begin to put His programs upon us in the church. And when you do that, you will see that God will visit us. Als je dit wilt, wordt samen. Als je dit wilt, leg je horloge weg. En dan zul je zien dat God zijn woord naar komt. Horloge weg. Hey. I went on again to tell this person. Ik ben opnieuw naar dit persoon toe gegaan. Zeg even de power that you are talking about. Zelfs de kracht waar je over praat. The first day that God released His power upon 120 people. De eerste dag dat God zijn kracht op 120 mensen gaf. They waited and prayed for 10 days. Ze wachten en ze baden voor 10 dagen. Not not two hours. Geen twee uur. The first day that the power of God came to the church, they waited and prayed for 10 days. You are complaining for two hours, and somebody has prayed for 10 days, and you want to compare your two hours to the 10 days people. You cannot receive that power if you are not ready to wait upon the Lord. Tien dagen bidden, en dan komt de kracht van God. Geen twee uur, geen, geen horloge. I don't know how they receive the power of God. Ik weet niet hoe je anders de kracht van God. Look, there's no way in the Bible that these 120 people who are waiting to pray, there are also other Christians who didn't come to that prayer meeting. <laughs> er waren ook andere mensen die niet naar het gebedsontmoeting gingen. Why can you prove to me in the Bible? Waar kunt u bewijzen uit de Bijbel dat degenen die daar niet waren, if they are on the street doing shopping, also op stel dat ze op straat waren boodschappen, if they are visiting their friends, if they are taking the 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 dog to walk, als ze met de hond aan lopen, if they are on bike, met hun hond bij, if they are having a, a, a car test because they bought a new car and they want to test it so they cannot come to prayer meeting. Misschien hadden ze een nieuwe auto gekocht en waren ze aan het proberen, maar hadden geen tijd voor die. The husband said he want to he want her to prepare soup for her for him so he is preparing soup for the whole Sunday so because he's preparing soup he cannot come to prayer meeting. Stel dat deze man zei ik moet soep maken voor de hele congregatie, maar hij was er niet. Another person said, "My daughter and my son is disturbing me, so I cannot come to prayer meeting today." But others said, "My son and my daughter come over." Another person said, "My girlfriend has just left me, so I don't feel the mood to come to church this day." But others said, "My friend has left me, so I don't feel the mood to come to church this day." The list goes on and goes on and goes on. And so can you go on with excuses? My question is, my question is though. When the Holy Ghost came upon the people who were waiting, did the Holy Ghost went to the market? Did the Holy Ghost went to the toilet? Did the, did the Holy Ghost go to somewhere? No! It is those who were waiting. It is those who were wearing, who were ready to listen to the word of God and pray. They are the one that the Holy Ghost came upon them. They are the one God said, you are ready. Those who are not ready, God said, if you are not ready, I am not ready for you. If you have rejected me, I have also rejected you. I cannot give my power. If you are not ready, I cannot give my power to you. If you are always complaining, I cannot give my power to you. If you are not longing for my power, 
die, die met zijn auto aan het rijden was, de heilige geest kwam naar de plaats waar die mensen baalden. Je kunt niet voor God. Je kunt God niet voor God. Je kunt voor God niet voor God. Je kunt mensen voor de gek houden, maar God niet. Ik vertelde de persoon. Ik vertelde de persoon. Ik zei, look. Kijk. Ik vertelde de persoon. 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 Ik They love to give. So you to forgive. They don't only give to the poor. They give to the church. Ze gaven niet aan de armen. Ze gaven aan de kerk. You tell me that you don't want. You want the love of God to be seen in the church. Je vertelt me dat je de liefde van God wil zien in de kerk. They did not. The love didn't come automatically. They did something to cause the love. De liefde kwam niet automatisch. Ze deden er iets voor onder liefde. We read that. They meet together to eat. We lazen dat ze samen kwamen om te eten. After church, you don't even have time to fellowship with people. You just running away. But the rest of us say socializing. You cannot socialize. You are running away, and you yourself say, "I want to love in church." How can the love come if you are not having time for the love? You must socialize. And the same as you don't have time for it, you can't even socialize. Come to the love to open it. People have no time. Mensen hebben geen tijd. They have no time for prayer. Ze hebben geen tijd voor. They have no time for reading Bible. Ze hebben geen tijd. They have no time to listen to the word of God. Ze hebben geen tijd om naar boos te gaan. They have no time for for the pastor. Ze hebben geen tijd voor. They have no time for the Christians. Ze hebben geen tijd voor de Christen. They have no time for the service of God. Ze hebben geen tijd voor de dienst. You give somebody opportunity to translate the message of the gospel, the message that coming from heaven. You give somebody to. Opportunity to translate. After a while, he said, "Pass that time. I will not do it again." They have no time for the word of God. You give people the opportunity to translate the word of God. You give people the opportunity to translate the word of God. You give people the opportunity to translate the word of God. You give people the opportunity to translate the word of God. You give people the opportunity to translate the word of God. You give people the opportunity to translate the word of God. You give people the opportunity to translate the word of God. You give people the opportunity to translate the word of God. They only have time for TV. They only have time for computer. They only have time for friends. They only have time for coffee and tea. They only have time for. But let me tell you, the coffee and tea will not bring you to heaven. So have a little time for eating. Have a little time for coffee and tea. Tell the coffee and tea bring you not to heaven. You can drink coffee. You can socialize with unbelievers. But I tell you one thing: they have no word to give you. Dan moet je band hebben, dan moet je tijd hebben gehad. If you have no time for his church today, will you have time when he comes? Als je geen tijd voor zijn kerk vandaag 